Well, I try again. I just recorded a video and uh, the sound was completely garbled and I've gone back to using the Logitech webcam instead of the uh, instead of the Zoom software that I've been using lately. So people are probably going to complain that the quality is not as good because they've really liked Zoom. But it, as I said, the voice was all garbled and I can't use that video. The title of the video for the June the 28th is Still Waiting for Substance and Evidence. Those who know the Bible will recognize elements of the faith chapter in today's title. Yes, it was one I mentioned, or memorized rather, early in my life. In recent years, as regular viewers of my channel can attest, I have expected fulfillment of promises based on expectations of real change in this present world. Like many, I want to see a world based on truth and justice, financial fairness, human equity, and more. I have lived my life with that dream in my heart and mind. It did not happen by 2012, as many expected. And even in 2016, there are those still proclaiming that real change is at hand. Many of us are disillusioned and disappointed, while some have given up. Even if the cabal is losing its grip, as some suggest, the evidence can be elusive at best. Others say the promises are not of a material nature, that they have no substance as we think of it. Is anyone else getting tired of riding a merry-go-round that moves yet gets nowhere? <sighs> Indeed, it is frustrating for me and I'm sure for others. Uh, Recently, one of my friends who uh, is very much connected with some of the changes that are supposed to be taking place in the world economically, the, uh, the things to have that have to do with uh, China and Russia and, and the new alliance of nations and a new monetary system, and, uh, a reestablishment of the republic form of government in the United States, and I don't mean republican, I mean the Republic, which is not run by a corporation, but where every individual human being, man, woman, uh, has an equal say and equal rights. And it's not run by a cabal of, of elite insiders who run everything for their own pleasure and, and profit. And uh, actually, some would even suggest as a food uh, source. So. This is the world that I see, that we've all seen. Some are completely unaware of just how bad it is. Uh, they believe the mainstream media. They believe what the, uh, what the authorities tell them is real. And they don't examine like I do and many others do. And that number is growing every day. It's growing, growing, growing. And there are signs of change. But as far as the big changes that take place, the, cha the first change has to be in the monetary system. That's where the slavery begins. It begins by making us believe that we are worthless, when instead of being worthless, we have infinite value as human beings. We've had that concept taken away from us. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Taken away from us by the insiders the cabal, whatever you want to call them, uh, that run the world, as I said, for their own profit, their own pleasure, uh, their own ego thing, and they use us, they use our negative energy as a fuel for themselves. They thrive on our negativity, on our disappointments, on our frustrations. They thrive on things like that. And it doesn't make sense to me uh, why any loving God would allow it to uh, go on and on and on with no with no changes in store. Uh, as I said, I, my friend from from North Carolina or South Carolina, I'm not sure he lives in the Carolinas. You know, he he works with some of these uh, groups that are trying to reestablish uh, a form of government that uh, that restores people's rights and restores sanity to the world. 
but people that are trapped in the insanity don't even realize how insane it is. They honestly believe that they have to work hard. Uh, not that we don't have to work. We do have to work. Uh, that's a physical world. We do have to put forth effort. But by the same token, the effort that we have to put forth is disproportionate to the effort put forth by those that steal and rob and lie and, and cajole and, and kill for pleasure and profit. Uh, my son gets frustrated with me sometimes because he thinks the world I mean, I think he thinks the world is the way that it's supposed to be, that there's always got to be positive and negative. And I agree with him. There has to, in order for there to be freedom, there has to be the allowance for people to make wrong choices and to do things that are not beneficial to others or to themselves. But it also needs to be a world where there is balance and equity. And that is not the world that we live in. The people that have risen to the top of the pile, so to speak, are the worst element of human society possible. They are demonic in nature, as I've said so many times. And it frustrates me. Indeed, it frustrates me a lot to, uh, to have to repeat so many of the things that I thought we had learned. And, and I don't know where what I was talking about in the other one. I went 10 minutes in the other one. And I feel like I'm, I'm finished. I don't know what else I said, but again, it was all garbled and I just deleted the whole thing. I mean, you could understand it, but it's not, it wasn't pleasant to listen to. Anyway, uh, I guess I'm gonna pull the string on this. Uh, I ask for your, your prayers, not just for me, but for all of those who are struggling, who have lost their homes, and lost their, their jobs and lost their you know, elements of their family and lost hope. You know, pray for these people. And we need to learn how to stick together and stop finding the areas where we disagree and start finding the areas where we do agree and come together in those areas and build something that's worthwhile for all of humanity so that we can thrive instead of starve, instead of being um, slaves we can actually become who we were created to be, creators with infinite possibility, infinite potential, and wealth as we need it. And it doesn't have to be measured in money, but it will probably be in money for at least another generation or so. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, my second try. Namaste. <laughs>